My name is Alexander Christman with COM333 Persuasion. I will be talking about cosmetic advertising. It is a promotion of cosmetics and beauty products by a cosmetics industry through a variety of media. The advertising campaigns are usually aimed at women wishing to improve their appearance, commonly to increase physical attractiveness and reduce the signs of aging. The first advertisement I will be looking at is Ulta Beauty. Ulta Beauty uses bright colors and new makeup that catches the eye. Ulta is one of the only stores that I go to because it has everything in there. Most brands are in there. It has makeup products. It has shampoos, conditioner, expensive hair products. It has everything that anyone would need in the shower or outside of the shower for your face, your skin, and anything else that, like brushes and all that stuff. Ulta uses a nonverbal persuasive tactic to get anyone into the store, like they have sales every month. That is a way to use Ulta's ultimate advertising for that company. Sephora uses billboards with simple slogans and at least one model wearing makeup to show the message they are trying to display. Most billboards are for grand openings, new products, or just to display their name. Sephora sends out coupons to customers who are part of their Beauty Insider program. Many of Sephora's products or products they carry are advertised in magazines including Cosmopolitan, Vogue, and Seventeen. Sephora also has their own YouTube channel, which features presentations of their own products, other brands' products, and tutorials using those products. The target audience for Sephora is late teens, early to late 20s to 30s. It doesn't matter for makeup. Anyone can wear it. It uses nonverbal, persuasive tactics like bright colors, beautiful models, the makeup they're showing, and what they're trying to feature in the advertisement that makes people want to come to Sephora and buy their own products. Advertisements are very effective because they had a sale last month. I went to it, bought what I needed from the sale, and bought multiple more. If you stay in Sephora for longer than you need, you start buying anything that catches your eye. And that means that you are paying more money to get out of Sephora. It's a brand for makeup that includes foundations, eye products, lip colors, and skincare. They are owned by L'Oreal Consumer Product Division. MAC can generally be found at high-end department stores like Nordstrom or have a standalone store. Max aesthetic is usually black colors with pops of reds, greens, purples, anything that stands out to you. I think that is a wonderful way to bring people in. Max's main goal is to bring out an edge to Mac products, whether you're rocking a full face of makeup or just a statement lip. We wanted women to choose MAC for their edge. They use non-verbal persuasive tactics using beautiful models, having an appeal for the makeup they're trying to sell and how anyone can buy it. Maybelline are a major makeup supplier in the drugstores such as CVS and Walmart. They rule the market on mascara. They have a wide range of products that allow for glam looks as well as everyday looks. The commercials that I saw for Maybelline, they had a male model trying on mascara, which was amazing because they're not discriminating against males wearing makeup. What appeals to me at Maybelline is that they are best for their mascara and they do a great job at it. It's not 
runny, it's not clumpy, it doesn't, it looks great on my eyelashes, and it makes my eyelashes look fuller. I feel that the target audience for Maybelline is early teens to any age after because it's a great product and they are very inexpensive, but they put so much effort into their formulas and everything to make everything look great. I think what they are doing at Maybelline is very effective and the message is very clear that they are one of the best mascara companies out there and they don't cost as much. So I feel that a lot of people get Maybelline more than any other company. CoveGirl are a leading drugstore brand for of cosmetics made for women. They provide a wide variety of products including foundation, eye pencils, pow and powders, and colors for a very large selection of skin tones. They tend to use familiar celebrities' faces as their models. The brand has been around since 1961 and is the most household name in makeup. They rely heavily on their spokespersons to sell the products because they are from a drugstore and won't cost as much. When I first started doing makeup, I used CoverGirl and of course I was using black eyeliner and blue eyeshadow and foundation with my hands because I didn't know anything about makeup until I got into college. And that was a big step up for me because makeup is one of my most beloved hobbies and one of the most expensive because my mom always tells me not to buy any more makeup because I have enough. To me, makeup is one of a passion of mine. Even though I don't have any artistic skills, I feel like I can be an artist with my face and how I look. I've had some up and downs and makeup is fun, but it does cost money. Thank you so much for listening to my report on makeup advertisements and I'm glad I looked into it more because I didn't know that people weigh heavily on makeup ads like TV and Instagram and YouTube videos and all that and I feel that it would be better for them to do that because anyone can see it and anyone that's anyone I love makeup so of course I go and see what is great out there.